Then the next topic is the complex notation of facial notation. As uh, just described as in the name, the facial notation is simply a complex number. And the facial notation is the process of constructing a single complex number that has amplitude and phase angle of the given sinusoidal wave. And also, this facial notation can be used to represent the phase relationship between any two waveforms. As we know, the sinusoidal wave equation which is traveling in positive x direction can be written as f of x t is equal to a cos k x minus omega t plus delta. Now, our a need to represent this solution of sinusoidal wave equation using phase notation. We know the complex representation e raised to i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. When this angle theta is replaced by kx minus omega t plus delta, e raised to i into kx minus omega t plus delta will be equal to cos kx minus omega t plus delta plus i into sin kx minus omega t plus delta. In this case, when we compare these two equations, we get the solution of this sinusoidal wave is representing the real part of this equation. Now, it is, this equation is a complex representation which has a real part and an imaginary part and this complex uh, representation, the real part gives the solution of a sinusoidal wave equation. So, f of x t is equal to real part of a e raised to i into k x minus omega t where a e raised to i into k x minus omega t plus delta is equal to a cos k x minus omega t plus delta plus i a sin k x minus omega t plus delta which is going to represent as f of x t as a total wave function. And we know the solution f of x t is the real part of f of x t which is the complex representation. Now, we know the complex wave function f of x t can be written as a the wave co uh, complex amplitude a into e raised to i into k x minus omega t. And this equation represents the general wave equation in which the real part is representing the actual wave. Where a the waveform a is known as the complex amplitude that is a is equal to a into e raised to i delta. This is the complex amplitude which include the amplitude and the phase dependence of that wave. And that in such a way this is the phasal notation and it is using in the future derivations such as that it is more easier to deal with the exponential term than using with the sine sin or cosine terms. That is the importance of advantage of using phase notation. Then the next is the linear combination of the sinusoidal waves. The linear combination of the sinusoidal waves can be written as f of x t is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity a of k e raised to i into k x minus omega t where k is allowed to travel along the negative to positive x direction. It is important to notice that any wave can be represented as the linear combination of sinusoidal waves.